acronym, it stands for Overcoming Our Reptilian Brain. <laughs> now, when, when we woke up this morning, our first thought is probably not, Tim probably didn't wake up and think, I'm not just a better speaker, I'm actually a damn fine speaker. Or maybe John didn't wake up and think, I'm tall, charming, elegant, and I have a lot of silver, and I'm going to do very well. <laughs> and I could go on, because you're all accomplished people, from what I know of you, and uh, we're all here today, we're all go-getters, we're all improving ourselves. What about the sheer improbability of life, the fact that we're all sitting here today? Each one of us were the one, we were the one sperm that made it to the egg. <laughs> that means, by default, each one of us are all winners today. We're winners in life. But how about the fact we, we were born you know, in this generation, probably looking around you know, in the 70s, and the 80s, and the 60s. Imagine being born in 1200 in sunny old England. <laughs> if you had a beautiful wife, and the king wanted her, he's probably just gonna take her. We've all seen the movie Braveheart, right? Remember that scene? Anyway. <laughs> What about if we were born in the Dark Ages, you know, 800 in Europe? Unless you were one of the unbelievably small minority, your life was, as one historian said, brutish, nasty, and short. That was, that was the life, that was the life back then. And lastly, so I don't belabor the point, even if you were born today, in 2018, and you were born in, in North Korea, Imagine your life, you know, unless you're, unless you're in the family of, of uh, Kim Jong-un, your life is, you know, you're enslaved from birth. It's, it's a crazy thought. So going back to us, most likely when we woke up today, instead of John thinking about his awesome silver investments, Tim about his wonderful uh, talents, we probably thought upon waking up, God, I could do it a couple more hours sleep, I'm tired. That's what I think every morning. <laughs> Maybe it's, God, I have a lot of things to do today. Oh, it's gonna be a stressful day. Maybe it's, I got an important meeting, I got business commitments, I got family problems and family stress. I could go on and on. Have you ever thought why that is? It's because our reptilian brains evolved for survival. They didn't evolve for their bodies, their hosts, to be happy. So what do we do about this? How do we overcome our brain's intrinsic blocks to happiness. Firstly, um, what a lot of people recommend is a gratitude journal. So for instance, Ennio, you know, he wakes up, he has a little notepad by his bed, and it takes 30, 40 seconds. You know, he can write, I'm a charming, handsome guy, I work a group on, I'm bilingual, you know, the list can go on. Just four or five things, just takes, takes 30 seconds. But what that does is that resets you in a positive mindset. Instead of all the things we have to do, the tasks, the noise, it brings us back to the more, more important things about us. We could all do that. We could all spend 30 seconds in the morning and start our day with positivity. Instead of like me, I roll over, I turn my alarm off, I look at my phone and I think, Jesus, I've got a million people bothering me. They need this, they need that, emails, texts, missed calls, voicemails, it's brutal. So by having that a little bit later, having your gratitude journal first, that tends to sense you and, and, and start you on the way to positivity. Secondly, we are always driving and striving for more. That's just the nature of humanity. And if our brains didn't think that way, then when, when our ancestors back in the day, they'd have had a, you know, killed a big animal, had a huge feast, taken the nearest girl to bed, and then laid around in bliss until they got eaten by a lion. Right? That's kind of why we evolved to always be striving for more. It doesn't matter necessarily what we have. It, it doesn't matter what we have. We always want more, pretty much. So in the hostile environment that our ancestors survived in, this kind of fight or flight response, it, it was necessary for survival. It's why our ancestors procreated. It's why we're all sitting here today in 2018. But in this day and age, this adrenal response to life and, and to things around us, it's, it's an antiquated reminder of our reptilian brain, and it's really not very useful in, in you know, very few of us uh, are fighting people on the streets or running away from our problems. 
So a good thing to, to, to remember is every now and again, stop <coughs> trying to strive for more and just pause and think. And uh, when I was younger, I had a, a brief career as, as a professional fighter. And my fiance put in my office, put some, a few memorabilia on the wall in front of my desk. And I had this beautiful picture of me with blood on my face in between rounds. I had some bloody fight shorts, had a couple of trophies and things like that. And every now and again, I'll be sitting there thinking about all the things I have to do. And I'll just look up to that. And it's like, a, it's like a, just a fond memory of my life. And it gives me five seconds. It makes me smile inside. And it's a great reminder. Like it doesn't, sometimes we've got to pause and think about how far we've come as opposed to forgetting that and always just striving for more because that's our instinct. It's always to strive for more. Thirdly, happiness, it relies on thought. And it's as simple as that. We need to prioritize the thought that we're just going to decide to be happy because it has to be a conscious thought. And I remember reading a great, great sentence once. It said, the gravity of the battle means nothing to the soul at peace. Okay? The gravity of the battle means nothing to the soul at peace. I love that. It's basically saying in the heat of battle, and it doesn't matter what battle that is. It can be physical, spiritual, emotional, mental, whatever the internal battle that we're dealing with. It's a reminder that we can choose our own thoughts. We can choose our own reactions. We can, we can choose the path we want to be. And we can choose to face those battles with happiness. So if you want to overcome this reptilian brain of yours, and if you want to be a really, truly happy person and fulfill your life's potential on this spinning um, spaceship going through space, which I think we all want to fulfill our potential here, then remember those three very simple rules. Have gratitude, remember to pause sometimes, and make positive thought a habit. It's as simple as that. Gratitude, pause, positive thought.